Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. So, if you're new here, welcome. We got some Stitch Fix stuff we're playing with, both the regular subscription and just their freestyle shopping. If you're not new, you already know what's happening. So, the Stitch Fix dish. I decided just to order the freestyle. I have been looking and everything that is super fabulous on Stitch Fix is over in freestyle. But I like clothing subscriptions because I like that we have the, the same thing I like about home decor subscriptions. A curator, a stylist, someone who is not me leaning in and giving advice on wardrobe stuff. I'm very square and do the same thing in circles when I don't have somebody stretching me. So I love home decor subscriptions because they're like, have you tried this? Have you looked at this? Have you thought about this? And I love clothing subscriptions for the same reason. But I have literally been getting the same old fuddy-duddy stuff from Stitch Fix for years. Now, I haven't been a current subscriber for very long. I canceled and walked away. So I'm still working on my feedback. I'm still doing my, my what is it? my style swipes or whatever, the thumbs up and thumbs down. I'm trying to be very dedicated in doing those, but just decided, let's mash them up. Me going in and shopping, buying what I love based on what I'm seeing online, and then them curating me a box based on the same guidelines. The only thing I couldn't like really nail out is budget, because you're right, they don't tell you how much they're spending. But I was like, okay, let's say like $350. That's Let's say that's what's gonna be in the box. I have no idea. I've had anything from like $600 down to like $300. So I said $350. If you're new, Stitch Fix for Women is a subscription box where you choose how frequently you want a box to be sent. There is a $20 style fee to get your box styled and shipped, but that does get applied to anything that you keep, any purchase. Uh, return shipping is free. Uh, they do ship to military addresses. If you've never tried Stitch Fix, go down to my URL below. I'll give you $20 to check them out. Great deal. Stitch Fix Freestyle, on the other hand, is basically just an online shop of clothes. You order when you want a box. There's no style fees because you're the stylist. You're doing all the work. Prices vary based on the items you choose. Shipping is free. And return into you is free. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get a coupon code for this one. I've asked, I don't know. If I do, I'll pop it up right here, or they may send you to the link below and let offers pop up on the link. So both of those links are below. In a fix, you get five items. Freestyle, you can get as many as you want. Fixes are available for men, women, and kids, but I think the freestyle store is only for women. <laughs> I always love it because I'm like, so what is Stitch, fi Stitch Fix's price range? For some reason, saying Stitch Fix is so hard for me, and if I say it enough times, I just mix it all up. So we'll see how I do today. But the price range for Stitch Fix is $25 to $500. <laughs> So I'm saying it's super unhelpful. So I'm trying to like build this out and it was just a thing. Uh, they do have a great size range. So extra small through 3XL, which is great. Um, enough babbling. I think we pretty much all know the rundown on Stitch Fix by now because they've been around for so long. Uh, you can watch past unboxings. I can link some for you. Uh, back in the day, like eight years ago, favorite subscription box, loved it. Recently, I have not been able to get it to work for me, but I'm kind of determined, like really determined. So I don't know, maybe this is it. Everything I don't like, I put in this envelope that already has to pass the postage paid. I can send it right off. This is my receipt and information. And here are the clothes. So you get this little guy with a note from your stylist and then outfit suggestions based on the items in here. I've heard a lot of you say that you like Stitch Fix more and the fact that they give you these outfit guides. I personally think they're not very informative outfit guides. It's, it's like, here, we sent you a pair of shorts, wear a top. I mean, basically, look, I mean, I don't know, they just don't resonate with me, so that's probably another reason why I found some disconnect, but a lot of you have said no, like, this is gold, and like, seeing this really helps y'all, so I wanted to share that feedback that y'all shared with me. And then let's see, see how far off or how close I was. Okay, so the total in this box is 256. Once you do the buy all discount, it brings it down to 192, so here is what a Stitch Fix receipt looks like. This is fix number 38 for me, so that kind of gives you an idea where I'm at on things. So I keep telling all my stylists the same thing. 
bright, fun summer color. It's already 90 degrees here in Texas. In fact, I guess it's 82 today. That's not bad. But it's it's been uh, mild, and, mild to warm. And so I'm looking for things that accommodate that. Obviously, I love this green. Look at the wall behind me. It is this top is not soft, which is interesting, but I do love the cut and color. Like it really is a good cut and color. It's like a little cap sleeve. It's by Mason and Bell. The Gia Flutter Sleeve Top and Olive, size small, $42. Okay, I mean, yeah, I like that. I think it's cute. I'm totally vibing with bright color, so that's a little bit of a down for me. I did not write this, so this is on me, but I own so much olive green. So, so, so much olive green. So uh, I need to make sure I note that next time that I own a lot of it, I'm looking for new colors. Um, but what do you think with it on? Is it a cute fit? It's not soft, which is a little bit weird, but it is very lightweight, which is perfect for our temperatures right now. So I don't know. I like it, it doesn't spark joy. And I'm definitely looking for pieces that spark joy. But let me keep going, because sometimes I go through the pile and I like more and I like more, and then I end up like falling in love with it all. Once again, loving the green. This is like, look behind me. This is like my wall, like it's my color, I love it. This shirt is super, super soft. By Hawthorne 41, or 41 Hawthorne, maybe it's 41 Hawthorne. Oh, okay, little knit dress. Like throw on your white tennis shoes and a denim jacket and go dress. Very soft, has a cute cut in the front. The Erica, okay, they did this to me last time. My invoices are often wrong, so then I, I don't know, I usually just go by whatever's online. You can see that this says the 41 Hawthorne Bridget Knit Dress. You see that? That's what the tag says. The tag says 41 Hawthorne. But look at the bottom too. The Bridget Knit Dress is not at the bottom by 41. It's by Market and Spruce. And so I'm going to I don't know, because look at the description. One says olive, one says black. I have no idea. Somewhere between $34 and $68. <laughs> I can look at the other item and make a guess, but my guess is that this is $68. This Bridget Knit dress is $68, just because of the quality, the way it feels, um, seems more high-end. What do we think? Does it look cute? Is it a white going out, mom on the go, but maybe has a meeting or two to attend dress? You'll have to vote and tell me. Also, I feel like this is a new vibe from, from my past Stitch Fix boxes. Maybe going through and liking and not liking the items is really helping. Pretty sure I have no black. However, little tank tops like this and like black, white, nude, or just staple pieces, they're like really, really good to have. So this is... 41 Hawthorne Erica High Neck Fitted Rib Knit Tank in black. So this is the $34 shirt. Now we know for a fact that dress is 68. So this is just a 34 basic ribbed tank. Um, good staple piece, genuinely a good staple piece. I need to go dig through my wardrobe and see if I need this though. I'm not really sure if I need it. It's super soft. It has great stretch to it. Um, I really like it. So I'm kind of hoping <laughs> that I need it. Tell me what you think. Does it look cute? You definitely can just wear it on your own. Um, you can wear it to lounge. And then of course, an excellent layering piece. Love this color. Give me some orange all day. This is great. Is this another dress? Oh, this one's longer though. Okay, yeah. It is another dress that has, whatever this neckline is called. Is it considered a halter baby, like this? A halter dress and like a burnt orange. Does look like it's gonna be a wrinkled nightmare. <laughs> and I have been trying to avoid that because I'm terrible at ironing. The Avalon Studio Brie Halter Neck Dress in Burnt Orange, size small, $54. Okay, that's a very fair price point. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Does this orange work for me with my hair? Orange gets so crazy sometimes, but I like it. I like that this has a slit in the sides. 
Um, very outside of my norm, but that is why I like subscription boxes. I would never go pick this up, but maybe I should, you know what I mean? Okay. This is a good fix. I feel like this is a good fix. I already kind of know what's over here. So this is good. And then last but not least, we have Day's Denim, the Dad Girl Eco De-Stressed Cuffed Shorts in Indigo, size two, fifty-eight dollars Good, cute. This style of short is so trendy right now, which is hilarious to see it back. Um, I, I don't know why they keep sending me size 26. I keep telling them I'm a 24, 25, or a zero. If it runs small, I could do a, a 25 or a two. Um, so I want to show you the fit on these, although I know they don't actually really fit. I think that's a really cute short. Um, I might need to write it in my notes, like put in the notes, hey, stop sending me size 26 because my style profile, I've checked it a bunch, does not say size 26. I'm definitely a 24, 25. Okay, so we have this. Um, I wanna swing over to this, show you the items, talk it out, and then we can vote on what we like, don't like. Uh, what I don't like for this, I will put in that this guy right here, schedule a pickup and I'm done. This guy also has free returns, but it's done a little differently. I'm gonna dump that out there. I'm gonna set this right down here. So, I mean, just to show you, there's a little tabby thing right here. You just pull the little tabby thing, but do a better job than I did, apparently. Jeez Louise. How can somebody be bad at this? This is embarrassing. Okay. <sighs> uh. So I'm gonna keep these together. I don't know if it makes a difference, but since they were shipped separately, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And put this one out over here. Okay. So right here, we've got this little guy. Inside, it talks about returns. So, got a return, no problem. Pack up your items. You can literally reuse this bag. Place the shipping label on the bag and drop in the mill. Really, really easy. So I save these just in case. Everything here I chose, like basically like online shopping at any store at any time. I went through, uh, they have great recommendations. The website is awesome. Like I end up playing on that website a lot. Um, And it mixes and matches outfits for you. It does all of these things. So if you aren't quite digging that vibe, because they definitely have a set clothes that can go in the fixes, whereas anything can go in the freestyle, you still still do get that like online style guide. Uh, I chose these shorts for me. They're by Studio Blue. Ha! These are a size 26. Super weirded out because I would never choose a size 26. I have never worn a 26. I've never picked a 26. I know 26 doesn't fit me. So I am uber weirded out. Do I have my receipt? Like when I made the purchase, let me look. Okay, so I've got my receipt here. The cadence, mid-rise cuff short and indigo, it says size two. Well, a size two can be a 25 also, and they didn't have a zero, so that's what happened. If I if it would have said like two slash 26, I would have said, oh no, don't send it. So that, that maybe is what I need to look for on my style quiz. Um, just take everything down to a zero, although I normally wouldn't say I wear a zero, I would normally say I wear a two, so. Other thing that's a friendly tip, um, if you keep getting clothes that are too old or fuddy-duddy, lower your age range. I'm hearing that works like a charm. Um, also, if you want to dig around and play, they have the Stitch Fix app you can download to your phone, and it's fabulous, super easy to use. I, that's where I play. I lay down in bed, relax for the evening, and then I go through and do, what are they called, the swipes and stuff. It's super fun. So anyways, we know these don't exactly fit how I had hoped because they're too big, but what do you think about the style? Do you think they're cute? I love the color. Um, I love the color of the other pair of Day's denim too. Um, I think both of them are wins as far as style goes, even though they're very different types of cuff shorts. Also love that both of them are cuff shorts. But <clears throat> if you had to only pick one, would you pick the Studio Blue from Freestyle? Or would you pick the days from the fix? Which shorts do you 
like best. Next up is a top I've been eyeing for a very long time. I threw it in my freestyle. I cannot wait to put this on. This is so Samantha. I love the color. I love how fabulous it is. DH New York Capri sweater halter in light green, size small. Are we ready for it? $98. I was like, I've got to see it. I've got to try it on. It's got to be pretty fabulous for it to stay as it's such a light top. It's such a, you know, there's just not much to it for $98. So you have like a sport coat or something like that, like, or just something that just is a staple you could wear over and over. I splurge more on those, a really nice denim mile splurge. But a basic top that I'll wear a few times, I just don't know. Is it that cute, you guys? Lean in and tell me uh, what you think. I don't know. Cute, but not that cute. That is a category. And if you had to choose between <laughs> the $98 blue rib tank that's not a staple piece and the $32 black stitch fix fix tank that is a staple piece, which one should I go with? We can mash those two up. The black tank or the light green freestyle or both. Can we add a both? We probably shouldn't add a both category. My husband's going to kill me. My clothing budget has been very, very extra this season. And so then if you thought that was a splurge, I'm about to kill all of us. So for those of you who are on the I love Farm Rio bandwagon, I caved and added a Farm Rio shirt to this fix. Also, if you were watching one of my last unboxings where I mentioned who loves Farm Rio? I have something coming. This is it right here. So this is the McCall Party Blue mini dress. And I have to tell you, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Huge splurge. I'm gonna tell you that right now because this brand is remarkable. $180. This dress is $180. So this goes back into the splurge category. I like to splurge. Is this my splurge worthy item? Is it? I love it. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Um, if you're not familiar with Farm Rio, they're like this new up and coming brand. You can find them at like Saks Fifth Avenue and Nordstrom. Um, everything is super wild. Their prints are always wild, which is why I love them. Um, their tag says, nature has always been our home and to assure it keeps inspiring new generations with its power and diversity, we're planting 1,000 trees per day every day in the Amazon and Atlantic forest. So that is part of what you see in this print here is that very Rio inspired print. You also can see it in the price tag, which once again, I'm a sucker, like a good made in America, made in small business, giving back to the planet. I'm such a sucker. So farm Rio dress for $180 or burnt orange halter dress for $54. Once again, this is just coincidence that this is matching up like this. I literally built this myself and tried to guess what I thought <laughs> they may put in there. And so far I have to say, where's a little pat here? But if you watch my last Stitch Fix, I'll link it up if I can. I mean, I think that box was like $507. I had a, one item that was $300 at Kate Spade dress. It was ugh, fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna swap these over once again. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I just kinda wanna keep it clean. Uh, these are the last two items I ordered. I ordered a basic tee, because I was thinking they'll probably add a basic tee. I added this Market and Spruce tee. Very simple, not normally my style. It has that like little retro look. So I was like, well, I need to try it. A good old pocket tee, a striped pocket tee. This is the Market and Spruce Elaine Pocket Short Sleeve Tee in white, 30 bucks. Very reasonable, very fair, great little staple item. What do we think? Like, do we like, do we not like? I, it's super soft. Print quality looks great. I don't know, I like it. And then for the sake of the mashup game, do we like the striped pocket tee or the Gia Flutter tee? The Gia Flutter tee is $42. If you had to choose between the two, which one should I go for? And then, this is where it gets a little wild card. I mean, when I show it to you, you're like, crap, you need to keep it both, they look great together. 
I got this purse, but it's not an average purse. It's a crossbody purse. This is the Gwen Sling in Cognac. It is $72. So look at this right here. This is gorgeous. And the back looks like this. And literally, it's wrapped up, and I don't want to take it apart so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet but you wear it across your chest like this it's like the strap goes over your shoulder down the back comes up right here and this settles like this or vice versa you could wear it on your back with this on your back and this strap coming down across like this um, it has really good storage that was one of the things I was looking at online like it holds quite a bit inside very cute, very lightweight. I think it actually looks prettier in person than it did online. I love this like woven. So you can see how she's wearing it right there. She's wearing it on her back. And that's exactly why I'm saying this is kind of funny because this dress and this purse together is an epic outfit. I like what Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix. If you watch this, I doubt you will, but if whatever happens and you do, why is this stuff not coming in the fixes? This is a fabulous, fabulous look together. So do I keep the $68 dress or do I keep the $72 bag? But together is really the answer, isn't it? It really is. So I did this mashup because like, you know, this is gonna be great. I think this is really gonna help clean line things. It's gonna help us decide what we like and don't like. It's gonna help us decide which one's better and I don't think it did any of that. I do like the freestyle more, but those are items that I picked. I want to work it out. I want to love Stitch Fix again. And maybe I just stick with freestyle. That is my game, that is my space. Maybe I just stick there and quit trying to make the fixes work when I know I can buy this stuff and I ooh and all like crazy. But let's chat it out. Do we think that I can like and down like enough items to have a fix curated that looks like the freestyle? Or that's just simply not an option. I'm like asking for two different things. Comment below. I know there's several of you who stitch fix and are very successful with it, which is why I want to, I want to be like you. <laughs> I want to join you. Um, and maybe I join you on the freestyle side. Vote below if I should do just another freestyle. Let's maybe, since we've done four or five, maybe even six fixes that I'm like, meh, still, maybe I stop that and I just start showing freestyle. Maybe that's the better way to do it. And if you haven't already, Go get the app. I mean, literally, I manage all of our profiles, me and the kids, not Jonathan. Jonathan's on his own. Um, you can't have, it's kind of weird, but I also kind of get it. You can't have a husband and wife on the same. It's one adult and then all kids. So um, it's just easy. You can look at your past items and scroll through so you can see what's going on. You can make outfits from past things. You can play on the freestyle. You can play on the fixes. You can check out. You can leave feedback. It's a really fun app. I, I know I asked a lot of questions this time. <laughs> I knew I was going to ask a lot of questions though. So lean in and give me some feedback. Maybe we just start focusing on freestyle and just see what freestyle is up to and we only do a fix occasionally. Or do we do both? Keep doing both. I would like to know what you guys would like to see. I also would super appreciate feedback on the clothes and continue to share your stitch fix, like tips and tricks. We have been getting some good ones and I love it. Okay, you guys, happy Mother's Day. I hope that you are having a spectacular day. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all. I don't know. I need a money tree really bad.